Hey guys, welcome back. Today I'm gonna to be building this beautiful greenhouse using old reclaimed wood windows and a wood frame that I'm gonna be sealing and flex seal. So stick around and I'll show you guys how to do this. Now today's video is sponsored by Flex Seal. They've got a ton of different products for a bunch of different applications. For this video, I'm gonna be using some of their Flex Glue for some of the joints in the framing as well as sealing around some of the windows. And then I'm gonna be using this Flex Seal liquid for sealing the entire wood frame on the greenhouse and preserving that and keeping it dry for a long time. Now I'm going to be building the walls around these windows. I was able to find these on the side of the road. They were being thrown away. I found a few more at Habitat. But this section right here will really depend on what windows you pick. If you want windows, you could just do a solid wall with clear siding and that would be perfectly fine for this part. I'm going to be framing around these windows and planning out the wall perfectly so these windows will slide into place once the framing is all done. As you're building, it's important to make sure that everything's staying level and square. I'm gonna check that real quick, test the window in here, and it does not go in unless the structure is square. So I'm gonna put in a two x four with a few nails and diagonally cross this, and that will tie this together, making sure that that angle doesn't change and it remains square throughout the process of building. So here's the flex glue that I'm gonna be testing out today in this video. All you're gonna need is a knife and a caulking gun. The glue is really strong and sticky and it'll section together really well once you first push the pieces together, but you're also gonna need some fasteners to hold it while that glue dries. I'm not gonna be adding glue to every joint on the framing, but what spots I feel like this works really well with is along the bottom board trying to bond the wood with the cement. I didn't want to screw or nail into that cement block or else it will end up breaking apart. The glue is perfect for that. It will bond the wall to the floor a little bit better. I also used the glue on some larger surfaces like the headers where the two 2x4s were nailed together. I used that glue to sort of laminate that and increase the strength of that bond. I'm gonna be attaching a two by six up against the shed here. I'm gonna put in just three nails quickly to tack it in place, and then I'm gonna be trailing holes that I'm gonna be adding in carriage bolts through the board and into the shed on the other side. So here's a few of those bolts coming through. I mounted on some two by four blocks in between the studs to sort of strengthen those up a little bit. And then we're gonna add in some joist hangers to hold up the roof on that two by six. We're gonna be spacing these apart every two feet because the roofing we're actually using is two feet wide. If you're interested in build plans or directions for this project, I'll be putting those together and uploading them to Patreon soon. And I'll leave the link down in the description below this video. On the top end by the joist hangers, you'll use a couple screws to screw those in and then along the bottom here, I'll just put in four nails down into the 2x4 below it and that will tie all of these down onto the wall. I'm going to add in three rows of these 2x4 spacers. This gives a lot more strength and support to the roofing that's going to be going across here. The roofing's fairly thin and I want to make sure I have enough support for those. It also adds a lot more strength to each of these 2x6s. It'll keep them from warping and twisting over time. I'm going to start on the last wall that I'm going to be framing up. This one's going to have our door and two windows side by side. Now, something I didn't mention before is this bottom board uh, around the whole greenhouse, you're gonna wanna use pressure treated. Anytime you come in contact with soil or concrete, you'll wanna use pressure treated. It's got a lot of moisture in it and will end up soaking that wood over time and causing it to rot out. Pressure treated is made so it won't do that nearly as fast. Now that all the framing's done, I'm gonna go around each of the window openings and add in a deck board that's basically like a one by six at the bottom of each of these windows as a windowsill. And I'll add a strip of wood all the way around the window opening that will hold the window in place. Now that windowsill along the bottom, I want that angled facing out towards the outside of the greenhouse. Any water on the inside or the outside of the window will drip down, hit that windowsill, and run out of the greenhouse instead of getting stuck underneath there. Thank you. 
Now for the fun part, I'm going to be using this white flex seal liquid to paint the entire frame. I'm going to be using a roller to do the vast majority of it, and then I'll come back with a paintbrush to cut in. Now I'm going to be stirring this, the directions say to stir, not shake, and I'm going to be wearing some latex gloves and some eye protection as well to keep this from getting on my skin. I'm going to be very careful not drip any of this, I don't want to make a mess on the patio or myself. This is actually the first time I've used Flex Seal Liquid. It works really well. It's super thick, so I will say because of it being so thick, it takes a little bit more muscle and time to smooth this out over the surface, but with it being so thick, it does cover really well. I put one thick coat over top of all of this, and when it dried completely, I went back and checked. There's no exposed wood. Everything sealed, and it worked perfectly. I would recommend trying to be careful with this. You don't want to get the Flex Seal liquid all over your tools that you're working with, your brush, roller. Have some extra latex gloves. It's really helpful to be able to switch those out if it tears or you get some Flex Seal liquid on it. But this has just turned out so nice. The coating over top of this is incredibly durable and it's really, really nice. And because where we live, we have a huge problem with termites destroying wood as well as because the humidity is so high that wood will rot really quickly. And inside of greenhouses, that's just going to be a lot worse. So this flex seal should help preserve the wood for a lot longer. So I want to give a big thank you to the flex seal team for supplying the product that I'm going to be using today and testing it out on this project. Now I'm going to come back with a paintbrush and make sure every joint on this is fully covered and there's no exposed wood. Another thing I want to mention about the Flex Seal liquid as you're working with this, this wasn't as much of a deal because we were outdoors, we had plenty of ventilation. If you're using indoors, you should probably be in a well-ventilated area and be wearing a proper respirator mask. I let the flex seal sit for about 24 hours and now I'm going to be adding on the roofing. I'm going to be using the 8 foot by 2 foot polycrylic corrugated roofing and this is going to go on really quick. Next I'm going to be installing the windows and I'm going to be holding those in place with 4 screws, one on each corner going into the 2x4, not the actual window itself. It will just keep it from falling back into the greenhouse, holds it in place. Now these two windows are a little bit different. They have a casing around them that are supposed to be mounted directly to the 2x4. So I'm going to put in a few screws around the outside and then screw them together. And I'll also come back with some of the flex glue and fill in some of those cracks in between and make sure everything's sealed up the way it should be. Once all the windows are in, I'm going to come back with some more of that corrugated clear roofing. I'm going to be using that as the siding as well. So anywhere that the windows aren't covering, I'm going to seal up with that corrugated plastic. Now, big shout out to my wife for painting the windows and door to make sure that everything matches. The windows were all pretty rough. The paint was peeling off. She painted them to match the Flex Seal white that's in the greenhouse. All right, so here's the finished greenhouse video. Hope you guys enjoyed this one. If you did, don't forget to hit that like button down below and subscribe to the channel if you have not already. Now, if you haven't seen the video I'm doing the brick patio underneath this greenhouse, go check that out if you're interested. I'll leave the link at the end of this video. Now, a future project I'm planning on working on is cleaning this all up. What needs to happen is all this junk needs to just be torn out. What I wanna do is build a retaining wall right about here, have a garden on the uphill side, and then it drop down a few feet and have a level area right here before you get to the greenhouse. So another project I'm gonna be working on fairly soon is this patio right here in front of the greenhouse. Right now it's just sand, but as you step out from that greenhouse, I want it to be a nice patio. I'll probably box it in with some railroad ties and then pour some concrete and make it look like stone pavers. Thanks again so much to Flex Seal for sponsoring this video and providing the product that I used in this video for this project. I've been really wanting to build a greenhouse for quite a while and you guys helped make this one possible, so thanks so much. We just love how this greenhouse has turned out. It's holding up great. It's been a little over a month since we built it and everything's going well. We've moved some plants in. They seem to love it in here. And I'm hoping to build a few greenhouse shelves in here to sort of maximize our space so we can fit more plants in here. 
If you're interested, stay tuned for future videos. I'd love to keep you up to date on how this is going. I've got a few more projects that I'm doing around the greenhouse, and I'm hoping to do a one year update on how well the greenhouse is doing. All right, that just about finishes up the video for today. Hope you guys enjoyed this one. If you did, hit that like button down below and don't forget to subscribe to the channel if you have not already. I've also picked out a few videos here that you might like, so go check those out. Thanks guys, I'll see you in the next one.